Barakatay Yahuwah, Barakatay Yahuwah Shai, Kol Halayim La Yahuwah, Bahasham Yahuwah Shai, Barakha HaKodash, <clears throat> which means all praises to Yahuwah is the name of the Heavenly Father. Bahasham means in the name. Yahuwah Shai is the name of His only begotten Son, who the world is going to be called Jesus Christ. Barakha HaKodash means in the Holy Spirit, Spirit of Truth, on the way we can worship the Father and the Son. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to all you brothers who are preaching the gospel in truth and in sincerity, always in charity. It's Brother Mathati from the Great Millstone Camp, the Branch on Des Moines. Shabbat Shalom. And, um, yeah, I'm going to just get in, into it. Now, this is the book of uh, Psalms, 84th chapter. It's inspired, you know, through just reading the 10th verse. But, uh, I'm going to go through the whole chapter. It's a short, short chapter. So, it's Psalms 84 and 1. It says, To the chief musician upon Getith, a psalm for the sons of Korah. How amiable are thy tabernacles, O Yahweh, Basham Yahweh Shai, Lord of hosts. When you go into this word amiable, it's uh, Yad Yad, which means beloved, lovely, you know. So basically, how, 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 how lovely are thy tabernacles, man. You know, and the tabernacles, first and foremost, represents this word. You know, what represents being in the secret place of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, which is, which is this understanding. It says, verse 2, my soul longeth, yea, even feigneth for the courts of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. My heart and my flesh crieth out for the living power. Yea, the sparrow, and, it, and it's the same thing as, you know, what, yep, man, perfect. These are the two ones I was thinking of. This Psalms 42 and 1, to the chief musician, Maskil, for the sons of Korah, as the heart panteth after the water brooks, so panteth my soul after thee, O power. <laughs> you know? So this is how we have to yearn after Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, man. You know? That's why it says in Proverbs, the 8th chapter, it speaks about daily, you know, waiting at his gates. You know, we do that spiritually in the form of what? Waiting upon Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. That's why we give attendance to reading, exhortation, and doctrine. You know, that's why we look forward to what the, the, the videos that the brothers put out, man. You know, making sure we're, we're, we're getting our, 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 our reading in, you know, our daily supping with, with, with our Lord Yahweh Shai. In whatever form that comes through, whether it comes to reading, whether it's breaking bread with brothers, whether it's informing a video, you know, or the, your own meditation or or you putting something on wax yourself. It's Proverbs 8 and 33. Hear instruction and be wise and refuse it not. Blessed is the man that heareth me watching daily at my gates, waiting at the post of my doors. And this is going <laughs> to, this is the spirit. I didn't even think of this one. And the spirit gave me this one for verse 10 in that uh, Psalms 84. Waiting at the post of of my door man going into those doorkeepers you know daily waiting at the uh, at the gates verse 35 for whoso findeth me findeth life and shall obtain favor of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai but he that sinneth against me wrongeth his own soul all they that hate me love death you know so it's a continual you know um crying after Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai man you know, just because we're establishing the present truth right now doesn't mean that we're still, you know, crying out for the Lord. No, nah, Lord, how long? Lord, how long shall you not avenge your, your, your servants? Lord, how long shall you not, you know, um, here's another one where it speaks about the heathen blaspheme thy name. So how long will you allow it to happen? Roughly paraphrasing. Right. We're looking for righteousness to be established in the earth. We looking. It says what? It is time for thee, O Lord, to work. Let's get that one. See, this is the, the, the mindset we in. In the book of Second Edges, it tells us uh, that the kingdom is already prepared for us. So we have to pray for a, a few days that the days may be shortened. That's matter of fact, Second Edges 2 and 13, if I'm not mistaken. Second Edges 2 and 13, go and ye shall receive, pray for a few days unto you that they may be shortened. The kingdom is already prepared for you. Watch. And we're standing on our watch, going back into what? Daily waiting, watching at the Lord's, uh, at the Lord's doors, man. You know? 
time for thee to work the wadi of Hashem Yosha. The Lord brought that back. This is Psalms 119 and 126. It is time for thee, Yahweh Basham Yahweh to work, for they have made void thy law. And we see in the works of Yahweh Basham Yahweh taking through, uh, 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 going throughout the earth, you know. And in the book of Habakkuk, it says at the end, it shall speak and not lie. We're seeing these things speaking. We're seeing that the Lord is visiting the earth, man. You know? But once again, we should have a, a, a eagerness, you know, to continually seek to do what's right in the sight of the Lord, man. See, it's not about being complacent. It's not about, you know, dragging knuckles. It's about continually seeking after Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. Isaiah the 55th chapter. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. That ain't just talking about somebody who just coming into the faith, man. These things is applied to us that much more because we know these things. Back in Psalms 84 and 2, my soul longeth, yea, even fainteth for the courts of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. My heart and my flesh crieth out for the living power. Yeah. You know, for righteousness to be established on the earth. How lovely is the Lord's tabernacles. Uh, you know, I spoke about how it's the word, but how much more when Righteousness is actually established here on the earth, man. <laughs> you know? Can't wait for that, man. Right? Because when you go into this word tabernacles, it says dwelling place. Specifically the tabernacle. Habitation, you know, tent. But how lovely... Are thy tabernacles, O Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, right? But let's keep reading. Um, this verse, nope, we had another one. Let's read Psalms uh, 42 again. It says, As the heart panteth after the water brook, so panteth my soul after thee, O power. My soul thirsteth for the Most High, for the living power. When shall I come and appear before the Most High? My tears have been my meat day and night, while they continually say unto me, Where is thy power? <laughs> You know, and that's these heathen talking shit. You know, and when I say heathen, I'm talking about these actual heathen, but also, you know, two thirds of all people who are in that heathenistic mindset. Psalm 63 and one, a Psalm of David, when he was in the wilderness of Judah, O power, thou art the most high. Early will I seek thee. My soul thirsteth for thee. My flesh longeth for thee in a dry and thirsty land where no water is. Look at this society, man. So we should be. You know, searching daily for that water. Yahweh Shai is that living water, man. He that believeth on me, as the scripture have said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. So we got to uh, 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 um, satisfy our thirst. Your body physically needs water in order for it to survive. So the same thing as your spirit. Man shall not live off bread alone. But by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of the Most High. So just like how you have to nourish your body physically, we have to nourish our spirit. You make sure your body eat and drink daily. Well, how much more our spirit needs to eat and drink daily, man? Because there's times where we need to fast, right? Where we need to starve out the flesh. You see? So in those moments, what? We give more into the spirit. We feed the spirit more. The bread of life. The living water. You see? Verse 2, to see thy power and thy glory, so as I have seen thee in the sanctuary. Because thy loving kindness is better than life, my lips shall praise thee. But let's go back. Back in Psalms 84 and 3, it says, Yea, the sparrow hath found an house, and the swallow a nest, right? And that nest, pretty much a, a chamber or a dwelling, a home, pretty much a home, right? For herself when she where she may lay her young, even thine altars, O Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shah, Lord of hosts, my king and my power. So what, you got birds nesting on the altar? Here it is, you got a, a nest and little, 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 little uh, hatchlings. And, no. We represent the sparrow. We represent the swallow. It speaks about how our soul is escaped as a bird out of a snare. We are escaped and the snare is broken, roughly paraphrasing. 
It says how we escape from the, the, the snare of the fowler. In Psalms, the 91st chapter, a fowler is one that catches birds. <laughs> you see? In Jeremiah 12, the Lord said what? My heritage is like a speckled bird. So we represent these birds, man. And we found a home, the altars. In Isaiah, the 19th chapter, it says what? There should be altars in the midst of Egypt and they shall cry unto Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. We're ministers. We're serving at the altar of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, man. That's why in, in Numbers, what did it say in Numbers, man? What was that? Uh, I think I had it on here. Yep. This number 16 and 9. Seemeth it but a small thing unto you that the power of Israel has separated you from the congregation of Israel to bring you near to himself to do the service of of the tabernacle of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, and to stand before the congregation to minister unto them. So is this a small thing unto us men who have been called into this ministry and work? See, there's a mentality we're supposed to have, man. Being called in, uh, unto the service of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. The Lord has separated us from the rest of these Israelites, man. You know how heavy that is in the spirit? But once again, see, this is the mentality that those that love Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai has, man. You know, how lovely are thy tabernacles, this truth, this word, how we search out and cry out for the Lord daily. How we found our home upon the Lord's altars. Verse four, blessed are they that dwell in thy house. You see, <laughs> they will be still praising thee, Salah. Blessed is the man whose strength is in thee. In whose heart are the ways of them. See, our mind is being instructed in the ways of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. See, our heart is toward the precepts, man. That's why it says, lean not into our own understanding, but in all our ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct our paths. In Sirach, it tells us how we have to pray unto the Lord that he direct our way in truth. That's the that's Sirach, the 37th chapter, if I'm not mistaken, man. You know? Our strength is in Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shah within these words. Isaiah 33 and 6. Wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of our time and strength of salvation. Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai is the strength of our salvation, man. You see? Verse 6. Who passed in through the valley of Baca, make it a well. The rain also filleth the pools. Right? This knowledge, man. They go from strength to strength. <laughs> from glory to glory. Says those that have clean hands shall uh, become stronger and stronger. It spoke about how the house of David became stronger and stronger, and the house of Saul waxed weaker and weaker. Right? So we go from strength to strength. Why? Because we're daily waiting at the Lord's gates. You see? Yahweh Basham Yahushai is our hope, our life. They go from strength to strength. Every one of them in Zion appeareth before the Most High. O Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shah, power of hosts, hear my prayer. Give ear, O power of Jacob, Salah. Behold, O power, our shield, and look upon the face of thy anointed. Now, when you go into this Hebrew word, is Mashayach, right? Which is that's, you know, uh, <laughs> uh, I'll pause because, man, it, 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 it irked my spirit to say it, but that's what the word Christ comes from. The word Christ goes back into the Greek word Christos, which means anointed. In the Hebrew, is Mashayach. Right? So that's where the word Christian comes from. So the true Christians, the, the true anointed followers of the anointed, which in the Hebrew is Mashayachim. You see? The true followers of the anointed one is who the Lord is looking at, man. Behold, O power. Our shield and look upon the face of thy anointed, being our Lord Yahweh Shai. But it speaks about how the Lord has given us this knowledge in the face of Yahweh Shai, man. So Yahweh Shai is looking upon us through our Lord Yahweh Shai. Second Corinthians 4 and 6 For the Most High who commanded the light to shine out of darkness have shined in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of the Most High in the face of Yahweh Shai. Hamashiach, man. You know, so going back to uh, Psalms 84 and 9, behold, O power, our shield, right? He's our defense, our buckler, 
our protector, as it says figuratively, a protector, and look upon the face of thine anointed, and, and in whom we hope to be through our Lord Yahweh Shai. Verse 10, for a day in thy courts is better than a thousand in this wretched, wicked-ass society, in the tents of wickedness, man, as it's going to say. A day in the Lord's courts is better than a thousand. I had rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my power than to dwell in the tents of wickedness, man. Meaning rather be a servant going back into daily waiting at the Lord's gates. You see, because it speaks about the porter. And this is what inspired this lesson, actually. You know, it's the Sabbath, so, you know, I was just sitting meditating on different things, you know. Just, just you know, striving, fighting this, to, to, to stay in the spirit. I started one, this John 10 and 1, Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that entereth not by the door into the sheepfold, but climbeth up some other way, the same as a thief and a robber. So the door is our Lord, Yahweh Shai. When we scroll down, verse 7, Then say Yahweh Shai unto them again, Verily, verily, I say unto you, I am the door of of the sheep so we got to enter in through our lord yahweh shai through the sheepfold right if you go if you're trying to go some other way if you're not trying to go through yahweh shai in the proper way he's we we are being instructed in then you're accounted as a thief and a robber verse two but he that entereth in by the door is the shepherd of the sheep to him the porter openeth and the sheep hear his voice and he calleth his own sheep by name and leadeth them out. So it says to him, the porter openeth. When you go into this word porter, a doorkeeper. You see, down here in the parentheses, it says a watcher, a gate warden. I will stand upon my watch and wait to see what he was saying to me. Habakkuk, the second chapter, Isaiah 62. I have said, watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem, which shall not hold their peace day and night. Ezekiel 3 and 7, O son of man. 3 and 17, I think it is. O son of man, I have set thee as a watchman unto the house of Israel. Hear the words at my mouth to give them warning for me. So we are those doorkeepers and we have to stay on our watch. Because being a doorkeeper is better than dwelling, uh, being in the world. Having a mentality within this wretched ass, wicked ass society, man. Living like how these wretched ass people live. You see? The porter. The Lord commanded us to watch. This is the book of Mark. Thirteen and thirty-four, for the Son of Man is as a man taking a far journey, who left his house and gave authority to his servants and to every man his work, and commanded the porter to watch. <laughs> the doorkeeper right so that's what our job is man going back psalms 84 and 10 going back to that proverbs watching daily at my gates waiting at the post of the door you see psalms 84 and 10 for a day in thy courts is better than a thousand i had rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my power than to dwell in the tents of wickedness man i'd rather be right in the position where the lord has me at man than to be a nigga in the world to have all kind of riches and accolades within the society. Fuck this place, man. See, it ain't a small thing that the Lord has 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 called us to bring us near unto himself, man. It's something very, very heavy and humbling. But this verse 11. For Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai is a sun and shield. The Lord will give grace and glory. No good thing will he withhold from them that walk uprightly. Did you hear that, man? The Lord said he will give us every needful thing in due season, man. No good thing will he withhold from us. Oh, Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, Lord of hosts, blessed is the man that trusteth in thee. See, our trust is in these words, is in these precepts. That's where our trust lies in Isaiah, the 10th chapter. It's Isaiah 10 and 20. It says, and it shall come to pass in that day that the remnant of Israel and such as are escaped of the house of Jacob shall no more again stay upon him that smote them, but shall stay upon the Holy One. I'm sorry, shall stay upon Yahweh, 
Bahasham Yahweh the Holy One of Israel in truth. Now, when you go into that word stay, as you can see, it's H8172. And it says, Sha'ain, Sha'ai, Na, Sha'ain, to lean on, trust in, support <laughs> of trust in the Most High, man. So our trust, it says, seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. So our trust is in these words, right? It says the law is faithful as an oracle. Sirach 33 and 3, a man of understanding trusteth in the law, in these words, the volume of the book, and the law is faithful unto him as an oracle, man. 34, Sirach 34 and 38, the law shall be found perfect without lies, and wisdom is perfection to a faithful mouth. You see, that's why it says, I believe all things concerning thy precepts to be right. Therefore, I hate every false way. Let's get that. Psalms 119 and 128. Therefore, I esteem all thy precepts concerning all things to be right. And I hate every false way. Trust in Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai. Blessed is that man that has that trust. So may Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai continue to allow us to have faith in his words. You know, to follow hard after him. Let me grab that. Because that Psalms... It says, what, my, my, my soul longeth for thee, even fainteth for thee, right? There's one where it says, followeth hard. This is the book of Psalms 63 and 8. My soul followeth hard after thee, thy right hand upholdeth me. You know, and that's whom Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai finds pleasure in you know those who truly will rely and trust on him as it is written because this is the record that we have man you know how else do you believe in the most high outside of the bible outside of the the the, the record that he left of his son as it is written in the book of first john so you know just wanted to speak on that this has been uh you know psalms the 84th chapter you know, went through the whole, the whole, the whole chapter. Lord, as well, I hope this was edifying. The water Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, for giving me a spirit to do this lesson on the Lord's holy day. The water Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, you know, for allowing us to observe, you know, our Sabbaths, our Sabbaths, man, the Shabbats, the high holy days, man, you know, the new moons, right? The Passovers and the Day of Atonements and the Feast of Tabernacles and so forth and so on, man. The water, Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shai, for returning us, you know, back unto himself through our Lord, Yahweh Shai, for allowing us to return back into our heritage, man, to, to keep such days as this, man. You know, the water, Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shai, once again, can't say that enough. So, Lord's will, I hope this was edifying. We give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Baruch HaKodash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to all you brothers preaching the gospel in truth and the sincerity, always in charity. Shabbat shalom.